And recent reports of suicides have many talking about how to deal with suicides or to help those who seem depressed. Three recent suicide cases involving survivors or loved ones of those killed in mass shootings have made news just in the past week. And doctors say suicide should be talked about, but with care. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips is live in downtown Greenville with more on this public health issue. And Jen, I know you talked to some experts about what to look out for. Yeah, doctors say there are signs like withdrawal from family and friends, or if you see someone uncharacteristically engaging in risky behavior like drugs or spending too much. Either way, doctors say it's important for you to ask family and friends if they're okay. Sydney Wright knows this campus well. She's a grad student at Furman University working on a master's degree in chemistry. College campuses are a very stressful environment. But even before she enrolled in college, she had a tough time just trying to master life. In high school, I was definitely withdrawn. I was fighting with my parents all the time. I was angry, I was anxious. When I was a sophomore in high school, I attempted suicide. She remembers calling her father. I called him thinking I was telling him goodbye, but when I heard how hurt and pained he was, I knew that I was calling for help. She got the help she needed and says it saved her life. I'm at a point where I'm completely happy and know when I need to reach out to someone if I'm not at my strong point. Recently, two survivors of the Parkland massacre shootings, suicides, and the father of one of the children killed in Newtown, Connecticut, another suicide. And on the campus of USC in Columbia, a Carolina alert reads, a garage closed due to suicide. Experts say it's a public health issue. And we know there is a link between trauma and traumatic loss and all of that and, and suicidal ideation. Sometimes what we see is an increase in distress even a, long, a longer time after the trauma. Dr. Caitlin McClear is a psychologist with Synergy Psych in Greenville. I think if you are seeing somebody who is not acting like themselves, it's never a wrong thing to just check in and say, hey, are you okay? She says suicide should be talked about, but with care. Well, we see it in the media and, okay, this is a solution. For this chemistry student, the solution is therapy. She's now active with suicide prevention and awareness walks. And Sydney Wright is learning how to tell her story. So doctors say if someone calls you with an emergency and they're talking about suicide, they say do not hang up the phone. They say stay on the phone with that person while you try to get them help. Live in Greenbelt, Jennifer Phillips, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news. Jen, thanks so much.